I'm Mark N.P. and I'm here at the beach in Long Branch, New Jersey to talk to you today about Jumbo Jersey Shore Hot Dogs. This is I Never Sausage a Hot Dog. Here in Long Branch, the iconic windmill has been standing since 1963. We're at the iconic windmill of West End, Long Branch, New Jersey, and I'm here with co-owner Rena Levine Levy, who's going to tell us a little bit about the history of the place. Well, thank you for coming to Long Branch to visit us proudly can say this original windmill opened in 1963 and my father Leo and his brother Eddie bought it in 1976 and we've been operating it as a family ever since then. My brother Stephen and I currently are the owners. We own four locations, one in Belmar which has been there since 1978, another in North Long Branch which we recently renovated and another in Asbury Park. And we have two very long-standing franchises, one in Brick, which is almost 30 years or more, and another in Red Bank, New Jersey. A real Jersey Shore joint. Now Mike here has been an employee for over 25 years, managing for over 20 of those. He's going to tell us a little bit about the hot dogs. They're uh, quarter pound hot dogs. It's an uh, all natural casing. They're a uh, beef and pork mixture made by Sabret with the windmill's own recipe. So I heard that you have a personal story, a personal connection to windmill. I met my beautiful wife, Samantha. I uh, proposed to her and we had our uh, wedding uh, and reception at the uh, North End windmill. And uh, we got our beautiful wedding pictures taken upstairs. And. Uh, the best thing about it was my wife was really happy. We didn't get any cancellations because everyone knew they were going to eat at the windmill. So who would you say is your most famous customer? Well, all of our customers are famous and special, but Bruce Springsteen has quite a history with the windmill. He actually wrote uh, some music within walking distance to here because we've been here since 1963 and he was here in the 70s. and. Uh, Way before he became as famous as he is now, uh, he was a pretty regular customer here. Can I have a hot dog with some extra char on it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. One of my favorite parts about the windmill is the toppings they have lined up on the counter. I usually go for a little hot red pepper relish. A classic Jersey Shore footlong has some weight to it. The windmill sabrettes are four to a pound, four ounces each. Not for a lightweight. talk about Jumbo Jersey Shore hot dogs, you've got to talk about Max's in Long Branch. I'm here with third generation owner, Jennifer Maybaum, who's going to tell us a little bit about the history of the place. Since 1928, we have used uh, what is called a Schick House hot dog. It is a foot long dog, and it is 80% um, beef, 20% pork, and we cook it on a flat griddle. Um, people always ask us, you know, what is your secret? You know, we sell our hot dogs and people take them home and I say, uh, well, are you cooking them on a flat griddle first and foremost? But even more importantly than that, are you cooking them with love? Can you tell me a little bit about the process here? Absolutely. Um, when the dogs are cooked, they're placed on the flat top griddle. It starts from left to right, on the left hand side here being the lowest temperature. And as they're moved over and rotated out throughout their cooking process, it, the flame gets higher and higher, which we adjust down here. And by the time they get all the way here to the right hand side, they are ready to be plated, bunned, and eaten. 
that one looks perfect to me. Right? Thank you. I know. And this is the original flat top from the 1950s? It actually is. There was two different flat tops that we had in the old restaurant. This is one flat top, and with a stainless steel product, as long as you maintain the integrity of it, you can keep it going for, for indefinitely. Max's has been in business since 1928. And this year, 2019, marks 91 years on the Jersey Shore. Uh, we've had a few different locations in that time span. We started on the Long Branch Pier back in the 20s and 30s. And in the 50s and 60s, had a couple different locations on the pier. Um, my grandfather had expanded the restaurant, so to accommodate um, more people, he had to have a bigger space. Um, in the early 80s, due to a fire and my grandfather passing away, my father then took over and we moved to Ocean Avenue. And we have been on Ocean Avenue in Long Branch ever since. Now you can get any topping you want here at Max's, but I like to start with a plain dog and then add a little bit of their famous kraut and some mustard on the top. I'm Mark N.P. and this has been a Never Sausage a Hot Dog. I'm about to dig into this quarter pound chick house, but if you liked what you saw, you can like, share, subscribe, Tell your friends. Thanks.